As part of BBB's Give.org Building Trust series, we're here today with Maya Ajimera, President and CEO, Society for Science and the Public, and publisher of Science News. What is the mission of Society for Science and the Public? Since 1921, the Society for Science and the Public has been putting the power and wonder of science into everyone's hands. And we do this in three ways. We are best known for our world-class science competitions. We're also known for our award-winning magazine, Science News. And lastly, we are known for our nationwide outreach and equity STEM programs to make sure that every young person in the United States can become a scientist or engineer if that's what they choose to do. In today's world, why is science literacy and STEM education so important? We believe at the Society for Science and the Public that for us to be competitive in a global economy, we have to make sure that the next generation of young people are innovators that they're really using science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to create those solutions to the problems that we're facing today. Tell us how you measure the impact of your programs. We're proud to say that out of our science competitions, we have over 70,000 alumni throughout the world who are engineers, scientists, we have Nobel Prize winners, MacArthur Fellows, and we're really proud that Science News is in nearly 5,000 high schools in the United States, reaching nearly 40% of high school students. Tell me about how your programs attract and engage young people from underserved communities. Well, I'm really excited to tell you about the Advocate Program. The Advocate Program is a program that finds mentors and teachers who support underserved students who've done scientific research but don't compete in science research competitions. So what we've done is we have supported a number, I think over 200 advocates across the country. We believe that competing in these competitions improves communication skills, they learn about collaboration and networking skills, and it opens up doors to college and scholarships. How has your organization benefited by going through our review process? Just being asked some very important analytical questions about how we view ourselves and how we think about how we measure impact, the change we want to see. We are incredibly fortunate and pleased to be part of the Alliance because we believe that getting the accreditation that we got provides donors a sense of enormous confidence in our work. 